This is our third Lenten Red Reflection from the book Falling into Goodness by Chuck DeGroat. Today's entry is Friday, week two, and our scripture comes from Galatians chapter five. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Exercise a bit more self-control, I heard her yell to her five-year-old in the frozen food section of the grocery store. He was walking down the aisle, opening each door and slamming them shut. One by one, he continued until he stepped right in front of me and slammed the door I had already had open shut as well. The adorable little punk actually got me thinking about what self-control really is. Like a bolt of lightning, it hit me. Self-control is when our true selves in Christ are in control. Self-control isn't a strict behavior modification project. It's simply living from our center. Lent is often a season where the term self-control is thrown around. Having indulged on Fat Tuesday, we enter Ash Wednesday with a sense that this is a season to get things right again. Lose the weight, end the addiction, clamp down on drinking. Someone once said to me, isn't it convenient that God built in a weight loss and sobriety plan into the liturgical calendar? Self-control as I've seen it practiced is often motivated by self-contempt. I don't like myself, I'm too fat, I drink too much, I never exercise. And so let me offer you a word. If this is your version of self-control, you are far afoot from anything St. Paul imagines. Look at the words that surround it in the passage again. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness. Do these sound like burdensome projects? products of rigid, self-contemptuous discipline? Of course not. These are the heart responses of one whose life is so utterly rooted in Jesus that gentleness simply emerges, kindness overflows, peace lingers. The true self in Christ is our inner orchestral conductor. And the orchestra players are every part of us still fighting, still vying for control, still seeking transformation. Self-control is our joyful, gentle, and faithful work of inviting every anxious part of us, every angry part of us, every resistant part of us to relax its grip and find compassion in Christ. Here's our prayer for today. Good and gentle God, your, self, your sense of control is never demanding and always inviting, never forced but always gifted. Your compassion teaches us the way of compassion towards ourselves and everyone we encounter. Cultivate gentle, faithful, and joyful self-control in me, I pray. Amen.